you ever left the movie theater wishing the characters had more dimension, that the plot wasn't so predictable? Have you ever, like me, left the theater trying to tell anybody that would listen that you know lizards with stronger personalities, with better stories to tell? Hi, I'm Doug Eifler. My wife Marie and I are biologists, and we have spent the last 20 years working to understand and conserve various types of lizards. This work has taken us to places around the world. We've worked in South Africa, we've worked in Australia, New Zealand, different parts of North America. Most recently, we've been working in the Caribbean. And now, we want to make a film that we hope will promote a better appreciation and understanding for lizards. We want to tell the story of a lizard that has fascinated us for the last couple years because it has such a remarkable social life. Technically, this would be considered a documentary or a nature film, but I prefer to think of it as a drama, a drama that has lizards in the star roles instead of people. And to make this compelling, sexy, slightly nerdy lizard film, we need your help. The filming gets done in the Caribbean. We start off by making our way to Anguilla, a beautiful island to visit, although not where we get to work. From Anguilla, we get in a small boat and we head out to sea. Eventually, we get to a big rock that's basically sticking out of the water. This rock, this small island, it's about the size of a football field. It's mostly bare rock. What little vegetation is on it is cactus. And if you're a lizard, a lizard looking for food, it offers few options. Insects are in short supply. At certain times of year, there might be cactus fruits to eat. If you're lucky, if you're brave, you might be able to steal the occasional egg from a seabird nest. If you're not so lucky, the seabirds grab you, they bash you against the rocks, and they swallow you whole. All in all, it's a hard place for a lizard to make a living. So on this island, actually nowhere else in the world but this island, lives the little scrub amoeba. And this lizard is the focus of our film. They've been described as little black dragons, and they're the most conspicuous thing on the island. You can't miss them. They're moving around constantly searching for food. The other major player in the film are actually the seabirds. Their eggs are a potential source of food, and the adults, agents of death. So without giving away too much, let me just say that the plot revolves around food. Food is in short supply, and the amoeba deal with this by being unusually social. They share food, they share information about food, they form alliances, they maintain rivalries. And perhaps not surprisingly, there are some members of this society that are more productive food finders, and some individuals that do better scrounging for food found by others. But each individual's survival depends on its relationships to the others. Our film focuses on these individual lizards, their personalities, their position in a social network, the games they play, and the strategies that they use to negotiate through life. And if you want to see how it plays out, you'll have to see the film. So, to make this film, to share this story, we need your assistance. We need to raise $13,700 to meet the cost of production. Almost all that goes to meeting the expenses of being in the field doing the filming. Please help. If you're in a position to make a monetary contribution, we have a great selection of perks. Even the smallest of contributions will receive a personal thank you and be acknowledged in the film credits. And if you're able to make a significant contribution, you can actually find yourself on site for the filming. And even if you can't make a donation, you can still contribute to our cause by getting the word out about our film and our campaign. Thank you for your interest and for helping us save the world one lizard at a time.